recently I came across a tool called lazy git when I wanted to be productive and I didn't want to type too many git commands. That's when I found out a tool called lazy git which is a CLI using which you can productively push changes, pull changes, rebase your changes. Basically it just replaces your git with a fancy nerd style UI. There is obviously a version available for every operating system. I'm going to show you the OS X version because I have a MacBook Pro. If you're using Windows, you can definitely install it and use it in the same way which I'm going to show you. Generally, what do we do to identify what are the different Git commands? Like for example, this is a particular folder which is on my master branch. I have a ZSH theme with fish shell. That's why you see all the branch names by default. But in general, you won't be able to see these if you're using command prompt or something like that. And most of the time when we want to add files, we just say git add. When we want to identify what are the different files which need to be committed, we just say git status. And if we need to see what are the branches, we just say git branch. And if you want to rebase, you have to do a bunch of different stuff. In order to do that, most of the time you will have to know how git works and what are the different commands. Using lazy git, you don't have to remember any of it. You just need to remember the shortcuts. So in order to launch lazy git after installation, you can just say lazy git. I installed it using brew. You can do a brew install lazy git. If you're using Windows, there is a version for Windows as well, right? So you can use scooped to do it. Otherwise, you if you have Linux based laptops, you can have apt git as well. Now, let me open the UI as such. So in order to launch the lazy git, you can just say lazy git. If you're still lazy to type lazy git as a whole, you can definitely shorten it using LG. You can have an alias called LG, which can just trigger lazy git. That's another shorter way of shrinking the lazy git, becoming more lazy. So once I open, there are different boxes. For a second, just let's look at the first box. So the first box is nothing but the status box, which shows what repo is pointing to what branch so right now we have the master branch and we have the python playground repo so that's what it is showing now the second window is the files so it just shows what are the different files which are available to be committed to be added and stuff like that right now i have only the readme.md if i let's say modify some other file let me go out and then come back so in order to go out how do we go out right you can just press q so when you say q it's quit so that's the first shortcut we are going to learn. So after going into lazy git to come out of it, we just say Q. Now in order to modify any particular file, I'm going to create a file and then let's say I'm going to add it or let's modify an existing file. So there is a PNV folder which has different files. Let me go and change the requirement.txt. Let me add numpy. I don't know what version it is. I'll just say numpy whatever. So generally when we do git status, this will show us this file has been modified we need to add it now this needs to be shown in the lazy git right so let me go to lazy git so now lazy git shows both these files have got changed now how can i add all these files in one go i can just press a the moment i press a the red options just turn to green because these are now added to the staging area from where we can directly push it now let's say i realize that okay i don't want to do it i can just press again a it will just remove these files from the staging area now the next section has something called local branches and remote tags so this shows up what are the different branches which are present and the moment i move between these branches i can see who has committed and when they have committed what is the comments and which branch and from where they committed it so if you notice this was from the master branch so the next one was to a feature branch which is called learn slash tuples then there is a branch called learn functions learn pip environment pip file learn pip file etc so if you have a project which has multiple branches and you had to switch between these branches you can just easily come here identify what is the branch and if let's say you want to create a new branch you can plus n which creates a new branch for example learn lazy get so this creates a new branch and all the changes which are present inside the local file system they are going to be shifted to that particular branch and that's what this is the error this is a general message which we get so that we are cautious that okay there are some files which we did not add and that will be added to the new one so i'm just pressing enter so lazy git did not allow me to create it because it just said aborting 
that's one great feature because most of the time we create files and then when we try to create a branch we just didn't realize that there were files which are uncommitted into the staging area or pushed into our existing branch and we are trying to flip to a branch which we realized we just took those changes over and then it gets messier so that is again eliminated as a part of this particular lazy git tool the next section is the commits section this shows up what are the different commits in this particular branch now if i go to a different branch let's say i went to the tuples branch i'm going to check out the tuples branch i'll just say learn slash tuples so this got checked out into the tuples branch but it said that there were files which were deleted in this particular branch so these files if you look at it these files were deleted so there is no pip environment dot requirements dot txt there is readme dot md so there are some two changes in this particular branch and that's what it is warning me and i said fine now the moment i changed it into the tuples branch if you notice the commits have got changed and these commits are specific to the tuples branch now the moment i change this into the master branch i just press c so that i can check out the particular branch and then i say master this will check out my master and it says that you need to resolve the current index first needs merge needs merge so yeah both of them needs merge now how do i solve it i just add these files into my staging area now when i go to master i should be able to check out master and if you notice there is an error pop up which says there is a conflict and it's trying to merge these changes onto master and notice that it has changed all those into the master now if i click on add both the files have got added so without typing any git command i'm just trying to flip between branches i'm just trying to add files delete files etc this looks complicated for most people but if you like crazy uis and if you like shortcuts then this is going to be an amazing tool and if you work between different branches if you work on pet projects if you like working on open source projects and you want to get rid of typing more git commands then you can definitely try lazy git i have been using lazy git for a while now to commit these changes which we have added i can just directly plus c so the moment i press c there is a commit message if i need to push the changes onto a remote repository i can just press shift plus p so shift plus p will try to push my local changes onto my remote repository however i don't want to push it now now if i want to pull changes i can just press p so the moment i say p it will pull the changes the moment i say shift p it just pushes those changes basically it is just pushing from the local repository onto the remote repository generally we do git push origin master or git push origin the feature branch etc so you can directly do shift p or p to just push this code into the remote repository if you want to flip between different boxes you can just press 2 for this particular branch now let's say i want to go to local branches here's 3 so i'll just press 3 now if i go to go to slash that's 5 i'll just press 5 so this shows what are the changes which are stashed and stuff like that now i want to go to 1 i'll just say go to 1 so this is another way of navigating between these boxes you can use tab that also works you can use numbers or you can use mouse that is also a recent support which they have added So the whole lazy git CLI is designed using Golang. If you had seen my earlier video on dive, dive is also designed on the similar lines, which can see layers of Docker images. Now lazy git is an abstraction over git CLI, and it provides lot of productive shortcuts for us to be more productive. Do give it a try if you like it, and do let me know your feedback in the comment section below. As always, if you like the video, go ahead and like it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to it meet you again in the next video thank you very much